evening and welcome to the families, friends, teachers, and school leaders who have gathered to celebrate our young people's successful completion of eighth grade and promotion to high school. We all share in the pride that you and they feel as they take the next big step in their education. My oldest daughter also just graduated from eighth grade. So I know how exciting this day is for you and your family. Tonight, we have a great celebration prepared for our graduates. I wish that I could be there with you in person, but that won't stop me from sharing in your happiness and enjoying another in what I know will be many more celebrations of accomplishment as you move through high school and on to college and careers beyond. Know this eighth graders, high school will be filled with even more choices, more decisions, and we are committed to being there with you every step of the way. I know that you're feeling a sense of satisfaction, excitement, and even a little bit of nervousness as you think about high school. But know this, you are on your path to doing great things, great things that will make us all proud. I know that not being able to see and talk with your teachers and friends every day has been hard. And I promise you that we will all be together again just as soon as we can do so safely. In the meantime, stay focused, keep up your fantastic work, tell your family thank you for helping you, and enjoy this celebration. You have worked so hard to achieve this, and you deserve it. Congratulations. City Council President Brandon Scott, I want to say congratulations to the entire class of 2020 of Baltimore City Public Schools. Young people, we all would love to be celebrating you in person uh, with graduations. We know that the coronavirus has changed our ability to do that, but no, we still love you just as much. And not only do I want to congratulate you, I want to say thank you, young people. Thank you for believing in yourselves. Thank you for believing in each other. And thank you for proving the world wrong about Baltimore's young people, showing that you do want better for yourself, your community, your family, and your city, showing that you will be dedicated to making the changes that we know need to happen in our world. You are graduating uh, during some of the most uncertain times in a generation. Not only do you have a global health pandemic and coronavirus, you have a, a changing civil rights arena that's happening with the deaths of George Floyd and others, seeing and pushing people to understand that racial injustice has to change in our, in our country. And young people, you are the generation that can change it. None of that will change unless you do it. And I believe you can do it. Looking at how you led the best protests in Baltimore City over the last few weeks, how you have been the voices talking about how we just don't need changes at the surface level, but that we need to build better systems so that everyone is represented equally and not just a few. 
I expect you to do just that. Systematic racism will not be torn down unless you do it. Building better systems that recognize and invest in everyone and not just some won't happen unless you build them. And striking out injustice everywhere, striking out poverty everywhere will not happen unless you do it. I believe in you, but you have to continue to believe in yourselves, hold each other accountable and rely on us to support you. Thank you again, young people. Continue to be great, continue to soar and continue to try to make Baltimore the best Baltimore we can be. What up, what up, what up? It's your man, Quick Silver. As they say on the radio, it's quick, quick, quick. Congratulations. I heard it was some eighth graders graduating, going to the big high school. Congratulations. Give yourself a round of applause. And first and foremost, let me say I'm very proud of you. I know for a fact we're frustrated and, and just upset that we're stuck home and we weren't able to have a, a physical graduation. So everything is virtual because of the virus and all the crisis happening right now. But first, I want to say the class of 2020, you are literally history in the making. No one will forget this year all we've been through. But right now, even all we've been through, you still made it. You still graduated. I know I know you wish you could be in person, but guess what? You made it. You graduated. Congratulations. You're going to the next level in your life. And I want you to know for a fact, you're amazing. You have the potential for greatness. Don't let what we're going through right now deter you from your path of greatness. Stay focused. Stay motivated. I always preach hard work, dedication, and consistency. So right now, as you go from the eighth grade to high school, just know for a fact, even with all we're going through right now, you are absolutely amazing and you're going to become great. You know why? Because you are history in the making. Congrats once again to the class of 2020. And with that being said, God bless. Be safe. Quick silver salute. I love y'all. Congratulations once again. Hey, peace and blessings, class of 2020. This is Rashad Staten, proud to serve as your youth engagement specialist for Baltimore City Public Schools. And I just want to send a quick shout out, acknowledgments and praises to you all for accomplishing one of your life's biggest goals. And that is entering high school as an eighth grade graduate. We are proud of you. The city of Baltimore is proud of you. And we are ready to see you step into your future. Remember that you are not just up next, you are up now and that you are the class, you are the young people that has been chosen to go through life, go through this experience so that you can make it a better future and a better tomorrow. Again, congratulations, and let's continue to be more together. Class of 2020, I'm with you. Hey class 2020, it's Brittany Young from B360. What I always tell people, my superpower is being from Baltimore and being a public school student. It's given me the most strength, the most comfort, and of course allowed me to just be better than everybody in what we do. And that will be my charge to you all. As you embark on a new journey, whether it's a first grade promotion, an eighth grade promotion, or the 12th graders into the workforce in college, know that your city has your back. We're proud, we salute you. And being from Baltimore is what you should carry. Don't let anyone tell you something different. What I'm most looking forward to is how many of you will come back so a seed in your community and keep giving me inspiration and hope to do the work that I'm doing. Of course, things are not how we want them to be at the moment. Things probably won't be that way for a while. But more importantly, you and people like me can continue to make change and make efforts and strive to make things better for all. I'm so proud, I'm so happy, I salute you. And more importantly, I see you all as assets and I respect and appreciate your voice. Thank you from B360, thank you from Brittany and class of 2020, congratulations. This is a major milestone. Dirt bike riders are a part of Baltimore, whether we like it or we don't. And if that's what we do is ride dirt bikes, it's our recreation, it's our sport, it should be acknowledged and it should be acknowledged in how to do it the safest way. So of course, by wearing helmets, safety equipment, not riding in traffic. We are a city with a lot of challenges, but with a lot of challenges means a lot of solutions. B360 literally means be the revolution. B360 is a social enterprise. We hire former street riders to work for our students to get them into science, technology, engineering, and math through culturally relevant STEM education programming. 
everybody that ride dirt bikes don't know about STEM and everybody who know about the STEM field don't know about dirt bikes so we could bring them together and help out each other. So when they fix and repair their bikes, that's actually them taking themselves through the engineering design process. When they pop a wheelie, that's a physics equation. We're not trying to cause any harm, break any laws. We just want to have fun doing what we love doing. Mike rode dirt bikes in the streets until about he was 17 when he started working with me. So we were taking the person that was perceived as a problem, and he's now the person that's teaching them how to do better. But he's also learning how to build, code, design, and 3D print at the same time. In 2015, I saw two distinct reports, one showing that Baltimore had over 200,000 STEM careers, which could move communities out of poverty. A lot of kids change their perception on technology and science because they understand there's more to it now. So far, we work with over 5,000 students and counting. We've hired over 22 riders and growing. You know, there has a slogan, bikes brings bonds. Like, you meet guys and women from everywhere, different cities, states, and you just come together as one when you ride Duke bikes. You always want to see something that you identify with. You want to know that you have a place you belong. And I'm saying, you can do things right in this avenue, and your dirt bike is that vehicle, and that vehicle can propel you further. What I want for myself is I want a career. I want to have somewhere for the kids to ride and just enjoy themselves safely, freely, and just be a part of something that's a change. Hello, 2020 graduates. I'm Tina Highcover, Chief of Communications, Engagement, and Enrollment. This is an unprecedented time in history in healthcare in Baltimore City and across the world. I want to leave you with some tips for staying safe and maintaining good health during this COVID-19 pandemic. Just because the weather is getting warmer, we still need to practice the following. Practice social distancing, six feet apart when in public spaces. Please wear a mask and make sure it covers your mouth and nose. Wash your hands often, and also, even though you're young and may not show symptoms, if infected, you're still putting loved ones who may be older or having underlying health issues at high risk. So stay inside as much as possible. And if you do go outside, practice the tips I just provided. For any other questions, log in to cdc.gov. And once again, congratulations. To the eighth grade, shout out all my eighth graders in the class of 2020. I'm excited to be in front of y'all right now for this quick moment. I'm um, leaving a protest. We got the big signs in the back. Uh, and a lot of what we doing is doing it for you all. Uh, thank you for doing everything that you're doing for yourselves and in turn doing for us because we need you. Uh, you are the first graduating class that I know about that has graduated in the midst of a pandemic. And uh, with a lot of the unrest that's going on across the country right now, uh, a lot of it is being done in the name of you all. Uh, just a better life for you all, uh, better opportunities, uh, more respect, and uh, just, just a better and a more safe platform for you to continue to be great, continue to learn, and go after everything you deserve. Uh, continue to empower yourselves, your communities. We love y'all. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Brush your teeth, because there's nothing worse than wearing a mask all day when you don't brush your teeth. But I'm Big Fred, Lil Laughs. Uh, we welcome you. Uh, uh, Anti-bullying, confidence enrichment. Uh, whatever school you go to, make sure you're talking to your principals and your teachers and everything and saying you want Lil Laughs at your school. We can't wait to work with you. One love. Congratulations to you graduates. What a moment in your lives. Now, this might not be the moment that you imagined with us being socially distanced and you're not with your peers, your friends and your teachers, but this is still your moment. You have overcome so much to be here in this place and in this time. And that is why we are here to celebrate you and your accomplishments and your achievements and all that you've been able to overcome. No matter what was thrown at you, you've made it right here to this moment. So we're here to applaud you and you need to be proud of that. Be proud of who you are and be proud of who you're becoming because your journey is not over yet. And don't let anybody take that away from you. Don't let anybody define you for you you get to define who you are and you get to tell your story. Don't let the media tell your story. Don't let your environment tell your story. Don't let statistics tell your story. That is for you to do. You are bright, you are beautiful, you are intelligent, you are innovative. 
you are not hopeless. You are our hope. You are our future and so much awaits you. Now, there are going to be some uncertain times as you move forward into, into high school and that's okay. We all have uncertain times. Even as adults, we have uncertain times. And the things that get me through my uncertain times, it's, it's my faith in God and knowing that He is all powerful. And even though I don't know what's coming my way, He's already been in all of my tomorrows. He knows what's coming. So He's given me everything I need to be prepared for that when it's time. He's equipped me with everything that I need. And you have that too if you trust in God. So. Be proud of yourselves. Go boldly into high school. Enjoy this time and congratulations. Young leaders, it is my honor and pleasure to congratulate Baltimore City's eighth grade graduates. As your journey continues and you witness the world around you change, always be reminded that you too are evolving. Even in the midst of chaos, you're still pressing forward, still moving ahead, and still showing everyone who is watching that Baltimore City breeds greatness. I know this graduation isn't what you expected or what you had in mind, but trust and believe you are a living piece of history, a precious part designed to play a mighty role in shaping the future of our great city, nation, and world beyond. If I had to leave you with one thing as you transition into high school, I'd leave you with this. Know who you are so that the world doesn't have to tell you. High school will be one of the most remembered timelines of your lifetime. And as you make new friends, don't forget to make new family with those who are like-minded, success-driven, and just as passionate about changing the world as you are. And as you learn valuable lessons from your teachers, don't forget to teach them lessons too. Your perspective and experience matters. Learning is and will always be a two-way street. And even if you don't always like the street you're on, love the knowledge that you're gaining. And finally, stay humble. Smart people learn from their mistakes, but wise people learn from the mistakes of others. Arrogance is the weapon of the weak and humility is the armor of the strong. Don't ever lose yourself or forget who you are trying to be someone you're not. There's only one you and the world needs you just as you are. Congratulations again on this milestone. I'm wishing you much success, much love, and all the happiness your heart can hold. Miss Joni, out. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe, wipe. Gotta, 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 gotta go mine them diamonds, 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 diamonds. Really, really want it. I really, really need it. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. I really, really want it. I really, really need it. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. When I woke up, I was thinking about them diamonds. Gotta, 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 gotta go mine them diamonds, 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 diamonds. Shining, shining. Look in the mirror, yeah. I'm Chains, but I'm confident as a kid daydreaming how to get rich. Kept a private stash underneath the mattress, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. On the grind, gotta hit the pavement. Grind. Big things, if I had one, wish it be for diamonds. I want the diamonds. It take the diamonds for the world to see me shining. shining. From my neck to my wrist, I've been the fly. In the fly. Get the wealth, fake, perfect climate. Mm -hmm. Eating clean, I've been switching up my diet. Good health, be yourself, you should try it. Should try Think about them diamonds. Gotta, 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 gotta go mine them diamonds, 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 diamonds. diamonds. Really, really want it. I really, really need it. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I really, really want it. I really, really need it. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I used to be scared. I was so insecure. 
curve. Found a new direction, now I'm on a different course. You are not alone, everybody got flaws. Thanks to Instagram, everybody models. But a thousand likes and some new follows. Can never fill the void when you feel it hollow. So you popping pills to get through the high lows. But the real diamonds, they exist in your soul. You don't need the bling bling. You're already a star. Shine up. Jewelry and the cars won't make you who you are. Think about them diamonds. Gotta, 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 gotta go.